So today I thought I would go over something that I get questions about quite a bit, which is how to sharpen a pencil. I know that sounds pretty simple, but there's a couple different ways that you can do it. And I'll also show you how I like to hold a pencil. Okay, for starters, I'll show you how to use just a regular pencil sharpener, but this one does have a bit of a twist. It's actually got two different ways of sharpening the pencil. So as you can see, there's one hole here and one here. And what the first one does is it actually just sharpens the wood. It takes away all the wood. And if you can see that now, it's just that large piece of lead in this cool, beautiful pencil shavings. And then I put it in the second slot here, and that is what sharpens the lead. So now I'm gonna go over what I would use this regular sort of sharp pencil for. So for this kind of thing, I hold my pencil just sort of normally, like you might for your for writing. And the thing about this is it's great for making one line and for drawing details. Hold your pencil, like no matter how I twist my arm, I can't make any different line. No matter what I do, that's all I get. So that's a regular way to hold a pencil. Now I'm gonna show you another way, which I think just offers you way more flexibility. So if you set your pencil down and kind of make your hand into a claw and then pick your pencil up just like that. So you sort of have like all of your fingers on the pencil. This allows you right off the bat to make a completely different set of lines, a thin line and a thick line, all without changing how you're holding the pencil. Do a thick line to a thin line. So thick to thin or thin to thick. You know, one way to think of this is you're drawing a line on the bottom and a tone on the top. There's definitely no way to do that if you are holding your pencil like this. Draw pretty big and broad, but I can also go from thin to thick, thin to thick. You can practice that. So I'm gonna show you another way to sharpen your pencil that makes it even better for this technique. Okay, so I've got another pencil here. It's another Tombow, the 2B Mono. For this, you're gonna need an X-Acto knife, a sanding block or some sandpaper. Start off with my X-Acto knife, and I'm gonna pull the pencil towards the blade. You don't wanna think of this like you're whittling, like pushing away. I've got my thumb on my blade, and I've got my other thumb on my pencil, and I'm gonna put the pencil up against the blade and pull back with my thumb. And you, you wanna be careful you don't actually hit the pencil lead. So you wanna sort of be controlled and don't rush. Now as I get close to the lead, I'm gonna slow down and just sort of look here and double check where the lead is and what I have to take off just to make sure I don't take off, gouge the lead. And you gotta be patient, it does take a while. If you rush it, you'll break the lead. Okay, so now that I've taken off most of the wood, I'm gonna actually sharpen the lead. To sharpen the lead, you could do two things. If you have one of these pencil sharpeners that just sharpen the lead, you can do that to get started. And now I've got a nice sharp pencil that I can make some pretty thick lines with. Sometimes you might wanna do this just to test out if there are any chunks of wood left on the lead, which there is here. And so one last way to sharpen your pencil, you can take your sandpaper block on an angle, just run it along the sandpaper block. And what you're trying to create is a chisel. You're trying to create a pencil that uh, the lead looks like this. Imagine this is the pencil, and this is my lead here. What you're trying to do is instead of creating an even point, so that's a chisel point. And what this allows you to do is really get quite a thick line out of your pencil, but I'm gonna have to hold it the normal way I do. But you can get a nice broad stroke much broader than a regular tip. The cool thing is that's what drawing with this side. If I flip it over and I draw with the point, I can still get a very fine line, maybe even finer. So this is a great a great way to, to use your pencil too, the chisel point. Okay, so now that I showed a couple different ways of sharpening your pencil, let's actually show what these are used for. So I figured I would just draw sort of a simple scene. So to start out, I'm gonna hold my pencil like this because it allows me to draw more freely and, and all across the paper and I'm just gonna rough in the base shape for my tree. Just a simple tree maybe here. I'm not gonna do something too fancy. A swing on the tree. Holding your pencil like this, it's really good for this sort of like layout drawing where you're just kind of roughing things in. Okay, my, my basic tree. Now let's go over how I would shade this using those two different techniques. Starting off with that chisel, I can do some really amazing bark and maybe there's a sort of old knot on the tree going in different directions and build up the texture maybe we'll have some 
storage here. And I'm changing the direction of my strokes to sort of go around. Another thing you could do with the chisel point is put some tall grass here in front and I'm gonna push hard and then let off like that. And maybe I'll put some behind the tree. Pushing harder in the front makes some stand out. You might have to turn your paper just to get the right curve. So holding your pencil like this is great for doing sort of details. But you might find you still wanna switch over to a regular sharp pencil. That might be better for this. A little bit of a pathway here on the ground. And maybe in the background I'll put some more grass. But this time I'm gonna use a thin pencil. I'm gonna use my kneadable eraser just to lighten some of this up. I want a little more contrast in the top of the, the swing just so it stands out a little bit more. And I'm gonna go back to my chisel point and I'm gonna put in maybe a big rock here. And again, I'm just gonna use broad strokes, but this time I might go in different directions just to imply that sort of jagged surface of a rock. So there's my quick demo, just showing you a couple different ways to sharpen your pencil and use it for shading. There's lots of different ways to do it, but hopefully these two might give you some ideas about uh, things you can try. And yeah, it's really fun to, to um, play with these techniques and it might just be something you never try because in school or when we're writing, we always hold our pencil the same way. But for drawing, you can, you can hold it lots of different ways. So whatever you're comfortable with. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.